Bloomberg people. Happy Tuesday. It's Carolyn. And today I'm just going to talk about, for, let me fix this, for just probably a couple of minutes, a bag that I purchased over the summer, but I'm going to use it year round. And I know um, people have issues with white and stuff about using it year round. I don't. Um, white pants year round. I don't wait for Memorial Day or Labor Day to stop. I just, I could care less. <laughs> I mean, you know? Okay. But what I want to talk about, because I think she's really pretty, and she is my bag of the day, is the Dooney in Burke Florentine Barlow in it group, or however you pronounce it. Okay? Not sure of the pronunciation. And let me show you her. I am sure most of you have seen her, but I think she's a nice bag. And she's Florentine. And the color is more to the to the brown side instead of like cream, you know, like a yellowish or whatever. This is actually coming up brown, not not like a deep brown, but obviously because <laughs> it's mistaken for white you know but it's 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 like a you can tell that in the white there is it's cut with brown and so I just want to go over to, with you just a little bit and in case you are watching and have never seen this cute bag it's actually a nice bag and they can hold just about everything okay to start off with and I believe the straps are brown tomorrow and they are braided connected by a brushed gold tone or, or brass o-ring and you have two straps I tend to like to take the back strap move it forward a little bit excuse me move it forward a little bit to have it stay on my shoulder that's just something I do Okay, there's an, the Barlow is known for its, some people call it undulation. To me, that's a fancy word for, for curves, okay? <laughs> I mean, let's get real. <laughs> but anyway, so if you can tell, you can see the wave. I hope you can see the waving. You can see the waving. I'll look at it this way. And what it is is the center of the bag is in the middle here and then you have two outside pockets everything snaps so you have a front pocket and the front pocket has a slip pocket but it's a deep pocket okay doesn't go down to the bottom but this is how far down it goes and the straps don't get in the way I can do this so this is see how big that is and then get to the back pocket Okay, there's, it's just a big open pocket, all right? So, no, no little special pouches or anything. And in the center, unsnap, I, I do have a few things in there from today, but in the center, let's go to the front, you have on the front wall, oh, you're not going to see that, on the front wall there are two kangaroo pockets or slip pockets, whatever you'd like to call them. In the back, let's see if we can show something here, you have a zipper and a large open pocket and a key fob, which my keys are not attached to at the moment. <laughs> so it's really, as you can tell, quite roomy without using the pockets and it can hold a lot. Now on the side of the bag, on each side, you have a braided zip pull, and that really opens the bag up. It really almost becomes like, like a tote. And so then you really have a very large bag. Um, and it's, it's gusseted in the Florentine leather, which is Dunium Burke's top leather. This particular bag does come with feet on the bottom. And you have the Dunienberg patch. All hardware is gold toned. 
zippers on the side are slightly larger and the zipper tape is red. So that, <laughs> watch me have a hard time zipping it. Okay, all right, so that is the Barlow and Eckbert. She's pretty. Okay, well, have a good evening. And I hope I can turn this off from a distance. I don't know if I put the, no, I didn't put the arrow. There it is. Okay. Good night.